New student starfish. Chapter 5. SpongeBob and Patrick had been sitting in detention for one hour. There was one more hour to go. The life preserver shaped clock ticked slowly. Patrick was doodling his name over and over again on a scrap of paper. SpongeBob was wondering how he ended up in detention. Uh, in one day, I've gone from a good noodle to a bad egg, SpongeBob said with a sigh. And it's all Patrick's fault. He looked at his ex-best friend who sat at a desk in the back of the room. I hate you, Patrick. I hate you more, Patrick retorted. I hate you no matter what, Spongebob said with a scowl. Yeah, well, I'd hate you even if I didn't hate you, Patrick cried. Spongebob looked confused. I hate you even if that made sense. I'd hate you even if you were me. Patrick bellowed, his face twisted in anger. I'd hate you even if, uh, um, I'd hate you even if the light bulb keeping Roger alive went out, said Spongebob. <gasps> huh? Spongebob gasped. The light bulb that hung above the class science project Roger had crackled and burnt out. The room was dim. Spongebob looked at Patrick. Then he looked at Roger. Then he looked at Patrick again. If SpongeBob and Patrick didn't act fast, Roger could die. I'm sorry I called you a stupid star, SpongeBob cried. I'm sorry I got you into trouble. I got you moved to the back of the room and got you to do start taking away and throw a book at you and start to move was at you. And Patrick babbled anxiously. I'm sorry your apology is so long, SpongeBob interrupted. Me too, said Patrick. Their eyes locked. Let's save Roger, they said at once. Stay tuned for Chapter 6, coming up soon.